morning guys welcome to my channel so this is dr teju so today we are going to discuss about the unit 3 in natural language processing okay so these are the topics we are having in the unit 3 that is uh, models for ambiguity resolution in parsing and uh, multilingual issues semantic parsing introduction and uh, semantic interpretation and system paradigm and word sense so these are the topics uh, we are having in the unit 3 natural language processing so today we will discuss about models for ambiguity resolution in parsing so before going to discuss about the types of models for ambiguity resolution in parsing first we need to know about what is nothing but a ambiguity so let me discuss that what is nothing but a ambiguity so see here this is your unit 3 first we need to know about the ambiguity so here ambiguity is nothing but a see here this is ambiguity a grammar or sentence is said to be ambiguous if we are able to construct more than one parse trees for the same input or sentence so these definition is according to your nlp so normally ambiguity means one sentence or one word is having a multiple meanings that means the same word we will use but this same word is having a multiple meanings so this is the ambiguity problem so here in nlp uh, for ambiguity means Uh, by using one sentence we can construct the multiple parse trees by using the same grammar or by using the one sentence we can construct the multiple parse trees so let me take an example so this is the grammar here so i think everyone knows that the lhs side are the non terminals and rhs side are the terminals left hand side and right hand side so these are the terminals so this is the way to construct the grammar and here this is a very simple grammar by using this grammar we will construct the two parse trees so see here these are the two parse trees so this is one parse tree and this is one parse tree so first we we are using e e followed by e multiplication and e so then e is followed by this one the input sentence what they given is a so the input sentence what they given this is the grammar and the input sentence they given is a multiplied by b plus a so this is the input sentence for this input sentence <coughs> sorry for this input sentence by using this grammar we will construct the two or more parse trees so this is nothing but a ambiguity problem so everyone knows that how to construct the parse trees also so to see this one very simple e followed by e and multiply followed by e and e and this is the first a according to our input sentence and again our e followed e plus e and according to our input sentence this is b and this is a so this is the first way of constructing the first way of constructing the what it is called uh, parse tree then again another parse tree is see here e e followed e plus and e and according to our input sentence again e multiply e a multiply b plus a so this is the second parse tree so this is the first parse tree and this is the second parse tree so to solve these type of uh, problems ambiguity resolutions in the parsing we are using the three different models so this is one example and another example so this is the grammar so this is one more grammar lhs and rhs and the input sentence they given is 
A A B B C C D D. Okay. So by using this input sentence, we need to solve the, we need to construct the parse trees. So here for this input sentence and by using this CFG, that is this context free grammar, we will construct the mul number of parse trees. So see here the number of parse trees. So the number of parse trees we will construct like this. The number of this is one more grammar and a a a this is input sentence and this one and this is one more grammar so here there are multiple examples just i explain only one simple example so then remaining you can solve by yourself okay so this is about the ambiguity problem so for models um, for resolution of ambiguity in parsing we will use three different models so first one is probabilistic context free grammar and second one is generative model for parsing and third one is discriminative model for parsing okay so first we will discuss about the probabilistic context free grammar so what is nothing but a probabilistic context free grammar means just like a context free grammar this is the extension of pcfg is extension of cfg so pcfg here so here each prediction rule so each rule uh, we are writing the grammar right so for each and every grammar each and every context free grammar rule production of rules will be assigned a probability so these probability is represented a likelihood of likelihood of generating particular string of symbols using the given rule so now i will explain a simple steps then i'll go for example so here the same example <coughs> okay so here uh, i explained um, uh, using the same grammar i will explain using the same grammar so before that i'll explain some steps so what are the steps that one so see here so the probability context free grammar so these are the steps first we need to yeah okay so first we need to define a set of production rules so which specify how sentences are formed from constituent parts then second step is train the pcfg model with the text during training assign a production rules with the probabilities so by using this formula probability is equals to frequency of the rule divided by total number of times the non terminal appear in the training data so using this using this we have to using this we have to assign the probability for each and every production rule then third step is try different parse trees then to combine the words so try different parse trees to combine the words okay then fourth point is choose the best parse tree from it so you can construct the number of uh, trees to combine the words so from that you can choose the best parse tree okay so these are the steps to construct the parse tree using the probability context free grammar okay so let me explain a simple example so see here this is the simple example here we are having take this example so s is the start symbol so s is the start symbol so before going to solve this construct this uh, parse tree using the probabilistic grammar first we need to uh, note down first we need to understand how the probabilities will assign to the each and every node so here you need to remember one very important step so in this grammar s is a start symbol okay so this is the start symbol and this is the non terminal and here it is a e is a one of the expression in this grammar i am discussing okay so e is the expression and this is the terminal so remember one very important point here lhs that is non terminal is equals to terminals how many terminals we are having this side 
all the terminals how many terminals we are having this side this we can consider as a one and that is equals to 1.0 this is the main rule everyone has to remember okay okay so non terminal is equals to terminals is equals to 1.0 so this we need to remember okay so now coming to here in this grammar s is the start symbol and e can be represented as a one of the arithmetic expression so in this arithmetic expression we used addition multiply um, subtraction multiplication and division and also one of the number we used okay so these production rules for e indicates all the arithmetic expression with the probability for addition the probability is 0.1 and for subtraction probability is 0.2 and 0.4 and 0.2 and 0.1 number is okay so these are the assigned probabilities so now if we add all the probabilities of expressions of e should be equal to 1 that point i said here oh. <coughs> sorry <coughs> that point i said here if we add all the probabilities of terminals I, that should be equal to 1 okay so this is the meaning of that point so then by using the above grammar first example this one input is equals to 6 so start symbol how much we given 1.0 and expression how much we given that is 0.1 okay so here input is number right so we are taking as a number so then number is equals to 6 so this is a one pass trick then again another input sentence is 2 multiply 3 so start symbol is 1.0 and expression is 0.4 why here we are considering 0.4 means see the grammar in the grammar the multiplication we are having is 0.4 so that's why we are writing here 0.4 then e multiply e so for e 0.1 and for e 0.1 and again here it is a number and again here it is a number okay so this is the way of constructing the pair string and one more example minus and one more example division okay so this is about the pair string construction using the probabilistic context free grammar pc fg okay thank you so much hope everyone will understand in the next video i will discuss about the generative model for parsing and discriminative model for parsing thank you guys thank you very much hope everyone will understand please subscribe my channel if you like the if you like my video hit the like button